An entire season of ups and downs has wound through countless circuits around the world to guide us here to the Midnight Bay Circuit. Hello everybody and welcome to the finale of the 2020 Marbula One season. I'm Greg Woods. The Midnight Bay Circuit featuring a floodlit tunnel, an invisible bridge with no sides on it, extra grandstand to add to the ambiance, and a difficult overall lap that could see a huge stratification of the entire field. There you see the overall layout just under 13 meters, 16 laps and 15 turns. The clock strikes midnight and we're ready to go. Speedy on pole for the Savage Speeders. And we'll talk about permutations for the championship as best we can during this frenetic race. The lights are on and we're rolling. Speedy out of the gate, holds the lead through the first couple of turns and winds through the chicane for the first time. The field staying bunched up close right behind Momo and Prim. Clutter comes next with a little gap back behind first time through the tunnel. Momo diving to the inside, having a little look, decides otherwise. Prim now tries to eye up Momo. Thought about diving to the inside there as they head out onto the pit straight for the first time. Also a good move developing between Clutter and Prim as well. Look at all of the marbles side by side as they come up the ramp to start lap number two. Speedy. Rides the curbs there. Then we've got some good battles farther back. Clutter in fourth, Yellup, Rezzy, Hazy, and Mallard. Definitely watching to see what Hazy can do for the Hazers. Finish on the podium, you win the championship. Finish fourth, as long as Savage Speeders don't get fastest lap, you're still fine. For the Speeders though, if they win and the Hazers are below or at fifth, they are the champions. 38 hundredths for Speedy, the lead up front. Momo holding back a little bit of a train behind. Prim, Clutter, Mallard, Rezzy. There's Hazy in seventh and Yellow. With a finish in seventh, the Savage Speeders or the O'Rangers have to be below second place or else the, the, the Hazers do not win the championship. They are leading overall 90 to 76. Speedy across the line. Prim gets by for second place, 73 hundredths back. Then it's Momo. Mallard jumps him off the belt, and we get a lead change up front. Great move from Prim to take the lead. Speedy caught napping through the slower parts of the track. As they go through the tunnel, look at the draft, just ducking to the inside, but nothing there on the exit. Across the bridge, these top marbles all doing a very good job of avoiding careening into those blocks, but look at how close Speedy is. Look at the outside. Prim laying down the block, and nothing there. Up the belt they come, just two tenths apart. Equidistant between the top three. Then it's Mallard, Clutter, Yellup, Hazy, and Rezzy. Hazy needs to get a move on, even though there's still a lot of laps left in this race. How late will he leave it? Grim's lead as big as it's been. Onto the pit straight and around the final turn. Oh, and having a little trouble getting onto the belt. It's gonna be neck and neck on the exit. Speedy gets the better lead. Takes the top spot and holds on to P1 for now. Nice little duel there between them. Then it's Mallard and Momo, Clutter, and Rezzy, Hazy still in seventh. Having a little trouble there off the bridge it looked like, and that lets Prim draw ever closer. Riding the draft down the front stretch here, and they are gonna be a little bit closer, yes, under two tenths now, as they begin the next lap. A little bump off the wall there, slow for Prim, but gathers the speed back and mounts the challenge. Savage Speeders, not quite halfway through this race. For Speedy, the only one of the four challengers to start in the top half of the order. As we take a look at the field farther back, Hazy has moved into sixth place. That helps the permutations just a little bit. Again, Savage Speeders, the Arrangers cannot win the race, but if Hazy stays there otherwise, and they're fine. Speedy, Prim, Mallard, Clutter, and Momo. Here you can see Hazy bunched back there, trying to size up Momo and needs to get by into fifth. After that, then things look a heck of a lot better. Speedy doing what needs to be done out front. Building that lead, it was a couple of tenths before, now it's over half a second. Oh, good block laid down there. Clutter and Mallard 
are locked together. And look at this, it's almost propelling them forward. Usually the battles see them get farther back from the competition up front, but in this case, they're pushing each other and they're right on the tail of Prim. Snowy in the draft there for Momo. Now falls back just a little bit, but second, third, and fourth, all very close, and Speedy is content to let them battle. Who will get the jump first between Prim and Mallard off the belt here? And it is Mallard, but Prim tries to come right back and does around the hairpin. Through the chicane, Clutter also getting by Mallard. Wants to have a go at Speedy. Laps quickly ticking off in the Marbula One season. Clutter, one length back of Prim as they head onto the front stretch. And now here comes Mallard as well. The two of them are gonna be close, Clutter and Mallard, fighting for third place. And Mallard gets the jump. Clutter and Mallard back and forth they go and they're gonna switch places several times. And look at this, Prim is now under fire as well from Mallard. Those two neck and neck as they exit the tunnel and burst back out into the lights here at Midnight Bay. A late night race. These competitors sharp as can be so far. Speedy's lead is nearing a second and a half. And with the order as it stands, the Savage Speeders will be your Marbula One champions. Mallard in second place now, having disposed of Prim. On the bridge, but Prim with a little bit more speed on the exit. A bump off the Chevron, slows down though, and now comes right back across the line. Ooh, those two are very close. Prim wanted to have a go before the belt, but now has to do it afterward. Speedy, already almost through the first sector. Look at Snowy, a great climb and is now in fourth place, having gotten by Momo and Clutter. Snowy coming out of nowhere. Our winner at the short circuit wants to continue that momentum here. Hazy falling all the way back to eighth place after a dismal qualifying. Things are slipping away for the Hazers. The Savage Speeders could be just a few laps away from claiming the inaugural Marbula One World Championship. Speedy cannot start to get ahead of himself yet. Mallard and Prim. I think they can sense Snowy on a charge behind him. And sure enough, here comes Snowy to the inside. Can't get it done that time. Still has a couple of laps. Over 25 meters left. The gap is coming down just a little bit up front. Mallard can see Speedy through the turns. From there, it's a good gap back. Prim, Snowy, Clutter, Momo, Rezzy, and Hazy, who has been stuck in the bottom part of the top 10 for this entire race after making a great start from second to last. Snowy again trying to draft down the front stretch, and it's gonna be neck and neck as they come off the belt this time. But up front, Speedy already away to start the final lap. Oh, and you can definitely see Mallard closing up just a little bit. That is important because if Mallard does get by and the speeders finish second, they need the Hazers to be ninth or lower, and they're currently not there. But if they hold the lead, they will win the entire championship. We started this season at the Savage Speedway, and now Savage Speeders onto the front stretch, around the turn. They will win the race and the season. The Savage Speeders are the Marbula One World Champions. Snowy in third, Prim, Clutter, Momo, Rezzy, and Hazy back there in eighth for the formerly championship leading Hazers. Disappointing finish also for the Old Rangers, Clementon down in 12th. Team Galactic, 15th with Starry. Snowy did set the fastest lap, by the way. A little bit of pride to end the season. But how about that? The Savage Speeders set themselves up perfectly in the final race, best qualifying out of the top four. Two lead changes, 27 overtakes in the top five. Speedy also, with that finish, claims the individual championship. Well, there's certainly a lot to celebrate here. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying this season. We will keep making new races, which we will announce soon, including the Marble League 2020, and we hope to reach a million subscribers 
very soon. Thank you so much for this fascinating season of Barbula One. I'm Greg Woods. Time for the opening ceremony. So long, everyone. Thank you.